中で一番最高だよ Benson is the lead ship of the Bunny Girl class destroyers. The Benson class with the hull numbered ED421. She is a rare ship only available as a ship build under the light build tab. Because of this, trying to get her is like drawing a lottery. You are more likely to get San Diego instead of her when you are doing light build because, well, light build. Stats wise, Benson is not really the best ship especially considering she is only a rare ship and normally the lower the rarity of the ship the lower their stats are, and while other rare or even common ships gets a reputation of being on the same level as other much rarer ships such as Shirinu, those ships are few and far in between. Most of the time ships just makes up with their low stats with their specialized skills such as Kassin and Dams. Benson is no different. She has 1826 HP, 87 points in firepower, 172 in anti-air, 320 in torpedo, 204 in reload, and 163 in evasion with a light armor to top it up. Obviously, there are ships with far better stats and skills than her which makes her less likely to be chosen to be used in a sortie making her a hugely underrated ship. A lot of players think Benson is a useless ship that only belongs to the scrapyard, but they are wrong. You see Benson might be useless on her own, but with the right fleet formation, Benson could be a critically useful ship thanks to her skill air aid assistance which lets Benson buff the damage dealt by your aircraft carriers by up to 15% which is a pretty massive buff especially if she is sorted with the likes of the first carrier division or enterprise. The only drawback of this skill is that it does not stack with the skill of the same name. But there is no worry there anyway. It's not like you will be putting Benson, Ardent, Curlew, Hazelwood or Yuguri all on the same fleet anyways. Her other skill is the also familiar all out assault, which is triggered by firing the main gun 10 times. There are only a handful of ships that doesn't have this skill such as collab ships so expect any normal vanguard ships to have this. Now onto her equipment. You can just follow the standard DD build on her, since she isn't really an offense oriented ship. For her main gun, you can just give her the twin 127mm Mark 12 dual gun, preferably the gold one, since it has the best overall stats. For her torpedo, the quintuple 533mm torpedo is the best for her, since it has an overall good stats on its own. For the anti air gun, I recommend the quadruple 40mm Bothers gun, but any rapid fire AA gun works good on her. Unlike her younger sister Laffy, Benson can't afford to equip long range high damage anti air gun like the twin 113mm AA gun or the twin 105mm AA gun SKC, since she doesn't have the reload stats and buff to compensate for the slow reload, making those guns a bad choice for her. For her auxiliary equipment, the repair tools and fire suppressors are the best choice for her. Specialized equipment such as the Type 93 Pure Oxygen torpedoes will just be wasted on her, since she doesn't have the skill and stats to make good use of it like Aonami does. This isn't really recommended, but you can use Benson as an item holder. Basically, you give her an equipment that gives a global buff such as the Beaver Squad tag, so that your other ships that needs this such as your cruisers, won't need to give up a crucial equipment, just to be able to equip the Beaver Squad tag. I do this, when I have Ibuki in the same fleet as Benson, where I give Ibuki to Type 93 torpedoes, while Benson has the Beaver Squad tag. This lets Ibuki benefit from the speed bath without sacrificing one of her auxiliary equipment. Like I said this is not recommended, and even I rarely do this, but this is still an option. Now for the recommended fleet formation. Like Sirius, Benson is best used in a carrier centered fleet, since her skill can prove extremely useful to your carriers. She is best sorted with Sirius, so that their skill can work hand in hand with each other amplifying the damage output of your carriers. Benson is a particularly useful ship that can be used anywhere, as long as there are carriers, may it be boss node or mob nodes and even PvP, since the bath of Benson's skill air aid assistance remains for the entire duration of the battle, even if Benson herself is sunk by the enemy. All in all, 
Benson is not really a useless ship like a lot of players think of her. She is just an unfortunate ship that has been forgotten and overshadowed by other ships with higher rarity, but with lesser practical use. Benson by herself is a useless ship, yes that is true, but with the right fleet formation, even a forgotten ship like her can prove really useful in a lot of situations where you need that extra damage to make a fight doable such as when doing EX boss fight during events where your vanguard is forced to just try and stay alive as long as they can while your backline do all the work. During those times, every point of damage you can squeeze out of your backline matters and during those situations, Benson could prove to be a lifesaver. Next week I won't be making a ship tutorial video. Instead I will be going down the basics of basics. For the next few weeks I will be making videos on how to get started with the game. Because I realized that what good does a channel like mine which focuses on tutorials if I don't have a video or two about getting started with the game. I will also be making videos about fleet formations and other stuffs as a part of my effort to expand my channel a bit more. But worry not, because the channel will still be dedicated to making Azalane videos though I plan to include Azalane Crosswave in the future, when it becomes available in Steam. And when I upgrade my to at least meet the minimum system requirement. Though it might be a bit late, or advanced depending on which calendar you follow I would like to greet everyone a happy new year, and maybe all have a fruitful year. I would also like to thank everyone for your continued support to the channel. Your continued support is what motivates me to continue making this videos. I know I said in one of my Facebook page that I will be using my own voice in creating my videos, but due to certain difficulties, I had to abandon that plan. The place where I live is a rather lively one and when I tried recording, the amount of background noises are just too much, and not to mention that the mic I got is a rather sensitive one which picks up even the slightest sound and I can't really edit them out without having a major impact in the sound quality. The end product is just so bad that this text-to-speech software has a better sound quality. Well then that will be it for now, and I will see you guys around.